This video will guide you through the process of updating the 2X panel's firmware. It is highly recommended to back up the fire panel settings before updating, as failure to do so may result in loss of configuration. The saved copy can be used to restore the settings in the upgraded control panel. To make changes you will need a prepared USB stick with a dedicated folder structure. The USB capacity should be as low as possible, not more than 32 GB. It is important that your pen drive is formatted in FAT32 file system. If it is not, then format the drive to the correct type. Right-click your mouse and select Format option. Make sure that the file system is FAT32 then press Start. Be aware that format means you will lose all the data stored on the USB drive. Now you need to create a special folder structure. Within the USB drive, right-click your mouse to create a new folder. The folder must be named underscore panels. Then enter this folder to create next new folder. Name it underscore update. Now copy all the firmware files into this folder. The firmware zip file can be obtained from your local or regional technical support office. USB stick prepared in this way will be used to update the panel. To modify the panel you must be logged using an installer code. To log in press F4 to select the main menu. Using the jog dial turn it to select a user, which has the installer credentials. Now press the jog dial to scroll down to the password option. Using the button select the correct password for the user. To do this, simply turn the jog dial to select the correct number and by pressing the button will move the cursor to the next digit. Now press the jog dial or F4 to enter into the installer menu. Using the jog dial select panel setup then press the button. Find system update and press the button. Now fit the shorting jumper onto the JP4 pins. Once you have fitted the jumper press F3 to select reboot. Using the jog dial change the option from no to yes and press the button. The panel will now reboot and start with the system updater menu. Press F2 to select continue. Insert the prepared memory stick into the panel USB port. Now press on firmware update. After searching the files, the panel will display details of the firmware version found on USB stick. Press F2 to select continue and start updating the panel. Do not power down the panel or remove the USB memory stick during the upgrade. The panel will display the progress as it updates the modules. It will take a few minutes to complete. At the end you can see a summary of the upgrade. Press F2 to select Done. Now please remove the USB stick and the jumper from the JP4 pins. Press F2 to select Reboot. After a few minutes panel will start with the updated firmware version.